All right, this is the Federation of Global Merchants, and I'm going to read to you another <coughs> another article here. <coughs> this is from um, Ports.com or QZ.com. This is by Alibaba. It says Alibaba has teamed up with the law world's largest player in the online luxury market. <clears throat> All right. How this is for big. A, a major new partnership has Zook, Zook's Net A Porter Group, the world's largest online luxury retailer, joining forces with Alibaba to feed the appetite of the Chinese shoppers. The biggest, the world's biggest luxury buyers for high-end fashion. It says Richie Mon, I think that's the name of uh, the also big Swiss luxury conglomerate that owns Yux, a net a Porter Group, or AKA uh, Yanap, along with the companies such as Carter, Chloe, uh, W I W C. Uh, Oh boy, was that uh, Shafe Hazen and Mont Block announced the joint venture with Alibaba today, and uh, they didn't disclose the fi financial terms of the deal. So, it says the partnership le leverages Yanap's uh, massive roster of luxury labels, some 950 of which are currently distrib distributes in China. And Alibaba's extensive logistics ne network. It will also see Yanap and uh, Alibaba launch mobile apps in China for the Net A Porter and Mr. Porter, the multi brand current season channels operated by Yanap. Uh, the group also known uh, also has uh, Yooks, which uh, sells past season items. Alibaba, meanwhile, will provide a technology infrastructure, marketing, payments, logistics, and other technology support, the company said. Nanny Porter and Mr. Porter will also open up stores on the luxury pavilion that Alibaba introduced last year on its business-to-consumer site, Tmall, which as a way to, in Alibaba's words, to bring the same brand exclusivity and the tailored shopping experience that customers would get back in would get in a brick and mortar store to the world of e-commerce. Beyond that, two companies said that they will also explore future projects focused on serving Chinese customers both at home and traveling abroad. It's another victory for Alibaba in its efforts to cozy up to Europe's luxury powerhouses. When, when brands once accused it of fostering a thriving trade and kind of counterfeits other products on its marketplace plat platform, Yanap, which hits bumps on a previous venture into China, which openly looking, which was openly looking for a partner. The upside for both is obvious. Each is eyeing the opportunity presented by luxury, China's luxury shoppers, according to management consulting firm Brian. Bain and Company. Chinese nationals account for 32% of the world's luxury spending in 2007, more than any other nationality. That's a lot of people. Actually, that's more than um, that's more than uh, Americans or Europeans. So they actually got a um, in this article. They actually got a graph here that'll show you. How much you know the Chinese love luxury? Okay, the article goes on to say, while Chinese luxury buyers still do not, still, still do a lot of their own shopping during trips abroad, more their shopping is starting to shift back home. Okay, and then um, at the bottom of this article, they have actual the share of the luxury luxury spending throughout the world in 2007. It says the Chinese make up 32 percent of the luxury items being bought on this planet. Amer Americans make up 22%. Europeans make up 18%. Other other Asian countries make up 11%. Um, like Korea, Taiwan, Singapore, and Japanese make up 10%, and then the rest of the world make up 7%. Of 
Okay, and the article goes on to say their their share of luxury spending is only set to grow. The consultancy McKinsey estimated in a report last year that by 2025 Chinese shoppers will account for 44 percent. While listening to this, they'll account for 44 percent of the luxury spending. In that year, it said seven. 7.6 million Chinese households will represent 1 trillion in global luxury sales, an amount that has doubled that of 2016, and equivalent to the size of size in 2016 of the French, Italian, Japanese, UK, and US markets combined. So wow, that, that that's gonna be a really large jump for um, a lot of luxury buyers and secondhand luxury buyers as well. China says the article goes on to say that Chinese millennials are one of the most driving forces behind that growth. Uh, just look, just look at how the love for pretending to fall out for cars, spending all their luxury high-end stuff for all to see. Um, these young, these young Chinese are di di or digitally savvy. Digital channels already have a significant influence on luxury buying and online sales are quickly growing even though most luxury purchases still happen in stores. Alibaba noted in a recent blog post that its luxury shells, sales on Tmall jumped 46 percent in 12 months through June 2018. The total number of luxury shoppers rose 36 percent. It also pointed out luxury e-commerce it also pointed out that e-commerce lets brands reach shoppers in China, smaller China's smaller smaller cities, where most luxury brands, except for maybe Prada, where most luxury brands, except for Prada, for main Prada, with stores in more than 20 Chinese cities, generally don't have physical stores. So that's just a uh, really short article regarding Alibaba and how it's teamed up with a, lu um, a luxury player, a luxury online seller, and it's planning to sell more luxury goods in China, which has a really growing market. You know, like they said, in 2025, um, they're going to make a majority of the market, like 46%, compared to their 32%, I think it said, right now. So... Yeah, it's a very smart move by Alibaba, and also it kind of, I think it kind of, um, I think it kind of, um, kind of downplays the fact that there are a lot of uh, counterfeit goods on Alibaba. Alibaba, so it sounds like something that they're trying to get into and trying to downplay. So, really smart move. Um, we're going to have this video up in a few minutes, and um, I'm going to have the article the URL link to this article in the description box be sure to thumbs up or down, thumbs down this video and also uh, subscribe to our channel and comment on this video if you want to thank you